be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video is actually going to be a subscriber or viewer question being answered, okay? We have a subscriber here. He asked a question. Hey, what's the difference between leveling and gain staging? Pretty dope question, and I'm going to be answering that right here in the video. Now, I will preference this. This is just a four bar loop, but I still want to actually go ahead and go over uh, what gain staging versus uh, leveling is. I feel like I can still do that and just, just to basically explain the question, all right? So let's talk about leveling first. Um, first of all, hypothetically, I want you all to imagine that this beat is already done, okay? Now, this is just a four bar loop. Obviously, I still have some things I need to do to this. I need to arrange it into song format um, and everything like that, and then, of course, mix it, all right? And so when it comes to leveling and gain staging, those are two things that you would do during the mixing process of um, you know your beat making journey on a particular beat, whatever, all right? So let's just, again, um, imagine that this is a song that's already tracked out. Now, first things first, um, typically you will want to go ahead and take your song that's already tracked out and export it as audio, all right? And in that case, you wanna make sure that um, all, these song, all, all these files are at nominal gain and that they're not going to be peaking, all right, uh, for whatever reason. So, like, with gain staging, that's pretty much what you're doing. You're going into the actual gain, which is kind of like a, a pre-fader type thing, and you're turning that down or up just to baby basically boost the signal or lower it if it's coming in either too high or too low, okay? And uh, basically, when you export the files, you want to make sure that when it's turned into audio, um, that that when you drag that audio file back in um, to a new session to mix it, it's not going to be you know peaking or coming in too hot. You want to get that headroom and everything like that. And so that's what gain staging is. So technically, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example here. So check this out. We'll just listen to each track. All right. So as you can see here, if you're looking at the meter, um, it's not coming in too hot. So I'm gonna kind of at least leave this kick alone. Let's keep on going down. Now, this coming in a little hot, so I probably would go over here and uh, it was not coming in too hot. It's just a little loud, but I would come over here and grab this uh, plug in under utility and click on gain stereo. And then I could just turn this up or down. OK. And you kind of want you basically want everything to be hitting like right under negative six. All right. And let's see the clap. So that's coming in a little hot, but it's not too crazy. Put that gain plug in on here um, and turn that down some. All right, so it's hitting under the negative six dB, and that's gonna be good for when we um, export it. It's, it's okay. That's all right. And so this beat didn't really need a whole lot to it. Um, I will talk, talk to you about another way if you uh, to gain stage if you have Logic Pro 10.7, the latest update. Actually, you can go over here to the top of the screen right here where the you know you see this window right here, um, and click on your tools and go down and they have a gain tool. You can actually kind of makes the process a whole lot easier. If you click on your uh, inspector, you can see the velocity going up or down, and that's going to help out. So I kind of just lowered that there and pretty much that's going to give that headroom. So then I would pretty much, again, imagining that this is actually a full track, okay? I would then go ahead and export it as audio. So I just pushed uh, Command Shift E and then I would put it into a folder, um, turn my normalizing off, all right, and 24 bit and then, you know, export as audio, okay? So. That's gain staging. Now, like leveling would be, let's just kind of pretend that this is audio or whatever instead of MIDI files, um, would be pr pretty much coming over here to your faders and then just balancing out the different elements or, or instruments in your actual mix. So this would be like coming over here and start maybe with the kick, 
all right making sure that the kick is hitting hard enough and then like coming in and bringing like your bass and you're just balancing things so making sure that the bass is not overrunning the kick making sure the kick is still coming in hitting hard coming in with some other sounds here See, I can still hear the bass, still hear this uh, electric piano and the kick. So this is leveling. This is pretty much balancing out everything. So that's the answer to the question. Again, um, I hope y'all don't drag me in the comments because I didn't actually use a beat that was already finished. I really just wanted to just jump right into answering the question rather than just gonna pull up. This is something I was already working on or whatever. So decided to go ahead and answer the question this way. Make sure you go to the site, beatmakingbasics.com, okay? Check this out. At the site, we have full-fledged video courses that you can download, okay? And once you download them, obviously they'll be on your computer. You won't have to have some type of, uh, you know, password when you know log in and all that other stuff to access the content. All right, the courses have hours and hours of content. It's actually very uh, well thought thought out and put together, structured into an actual course packaged together for you. Okay, so unlike YouTube, you have to like search around the channel for different videos to answer certain questions and all that type of stuff. Instead, you can go to the uh, to the site bemakingbasics.com and grab one of our courses, and it'll answer all your questions in one set package, which will be a course. Okay, the courses are about an hour to five hours long, lots of content in those exclusive stuff. Um, make sure you head to the site. We also have drum kits and melody kits. Okay, and both of those are all royalty free, which means that you can actually cook up, make whatever, post them on BeatStars, Airbit. Um, YouTube and everything like that get beat sales off of it and I'm not gonna come knocking on your door knock knock to knock knock hey where's royalties at no this is all all you have to do is just purchase the kit and you can cook up and do a lot of things on there I mean like the next level drum kit has over a hundred sounds you know real cool stuff especially for hip-hop you know what I mean you I mean you got like different loops and stuff like that but make sure you go to the site bemakingbasis.com thanks for watching Merry Christmas love y'all appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video Proud.